Good morning. I'm about to get my lashes done. Um, this company emailed me um, for a sponsorship for a lash lift and they could come to the house and everything so I thought it was a good idea. I'm going to try it out and I'll show you a before after thing and yeah. So I'm about to go now. She has just arrived. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I've just finished a lash treatment. A company lady, a company My Lady Aesthetics emailed me a while ago to sponsor a lash lift and I gladly took it. And this is how it looks. This is without mascara, guys. It's crazy. Tomorrow when I can actually wash it off and everything, I'll look more natural. It wouldn't look like I have mascara on 24-7. And I'm about to do my makeup. I'm back on my shirt. This is a round of applause. So yeah, I'm about to leave right now. Focus, girl. Okay, I'm about to leave right now. And... I'm just gonna take another camera with battery because right now the battery is flashing. And I'll just take clips. I'm going to Aquaria today. I'm gonna go see my friends Amelia, Shireen, and Jawa. And I don't really want to feel. I don't want to vlog too much when I'm there, but like I'll just take clips of like the aquarium. So yeah. I'm back. I'll show you a couple things I got. And I came home to this, which is really nice from Beat Beauty. Beat Beauty My is their Insta. And I have a couple more things sent to me here. And I thought I'd maybe just opening everything on camera so you can see. I'll be posting it on my Instagram and at my Insta story and everything as well but I thought it would be nice to like unbox everything with you um, but I want to show you what I got first and to typo to get something to get one thing I saw this paper clip when I was there a while ago yeah so when I saw that I wasn't too sure if I wanted to get it but ever since that day, every time I walked by Typo, I just thought of this paper clip. So I got three boxes. There are, I think, ten. There are eight in each. So I got some bulldog clips also from Typo. I got one of these, which is like a slushy from The Simpsons. It's part of Typo's summer collection. And yeah, that's one thing. I got a few pens. They're all black pens. And this pretty one. I got it because it's a pineapple. Oh dear. There you go. It's a pretty pineapple. And the last thing I got is this. Which is the Air Flash um, Foundation by Dior. Your air flash foundation. Is this 
and it's like freaking famous all over it's all over youtube like jeffree star tati manny all that they all use this foundation and they all love it so i got it and it was really hard to get it if you want to get this you can get it at um klcc they are dior the one in level c um instead of because the Dior store on level G, the ground floor, is part of Parkson. They don't have it there. But they have this downstairs, um, just one level down at their main store. But yeah, I finally got it. And I'm going to try it out soon. I can't wait. It feels really disgusting, honestly. It, it feels like it's, it needs to be washed off because everything else is gone except for that and it feels like there's mascara on my face and I can't sleep like this but there isn't there's just it's just how it's supposed to be for 24 hours so I have to leave it and I'm gonna I can't wait to wash it off tomorrow <laughs> actually now that I'm waiting for Amira to shower maybe I'll just do the thing now let's start okay so there's uh this thing from Be beauty uh, their Instagram is Be Beauty My. I'll link everything down. I'll also link the lash um, company as well, so you can contact them if you want to get your lashes done or if you want to get some lipsticks. There are two colors. They sent me two. One is in bold, and another. This is a local brand, by the way. It's from... Yeah, made in Malaysia. And another color is Belle. Belle is so chante. And this is bold. Bold is also really pretty, but Belle is more my color. Yeah. It's really pigmented. I like. This is bold. And this is Belle. Very fitting names. The Sephora Beauty Service card. I've collected like 100,000 of those. Oh yeah, and then recently I went to um, Nello Fa's Maya collection launch. And it was really beautiful. I think this is my favorite Nello Fa collection ever. Swarovski sponsored the, uh, the, the, the little party favors or door gifts or whatever you want to call it. And it's this little, it comes in this box and it's this little padlock. It's so pretty. And these are some of the Maya collection twillies, which they don't actually sell, but uh, they had it also as door gifts and like party favors for everyone to bring back a, with a little Nylofa logo there. Look at this. Yeah. Where's these? This is the Azure collection. The Azure color. There are four. There is Azure, Fuchsia, Slate, and Ivory. Another Azure. I took one for. Look at how they put it. I love how they did it. How like they tied everything up and everything. I guess you can use this for your bag or like as a hairband. I thought of using it as a hairband or like a scarf here. There is these. I think this is Ivory. I don't know. Or sleep. This is fuchsia. Another one. I took like six all together. I want to give two to Frida. Yeah, these. Yeah. And next is from Lord Cosmetics. We have three there. I think this is a local brand. Is it? Yeah. So this is in Lord D. Oh my god. It's a metallic like burnt orange. Oh gente. I like it. And this is first time. Mm, another nude. 
which I like. And the last one is another kind of burnt orange, virgin vein. Be so good. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, it's so freaking creamy. I love it so much. And the color is beautiful. The color is so freaking beautiful. Can you see that? I don't think you can see how metallic it is, but it's so... I'm going to put it next to a mat so you can see the difference. This is first time. That was Lord D. And all of them are so pigmented. So the metallic one there is Lord D, middle is first time, and then there's Virgin Vein. It's all so pretty. I got another one of the Swarovski thingy, and this is a business card. <laughs> oh, and this is Carbon Cocoa Teeth Whitening thingy, and this is an Australian brand. Um, so basically it's like a powder, I've used this a couple of times And I can try and show it to you tonight, maybe like Fali might want to show it instead It's like that mm, I'm so scared, okay never mind. I'll show it in the toilet later or something There's Mary Kay Single Eyeshadows They're, They sent seven colors to me and I'm gonna swatch all of them Okay, their Instagram name is Chaps chapters.co again i'll link everything down in the description that's how it looks inside okay and there are seven of them so i'm not going to show everything i'll just swatch them and tell you the color names that is such a beautiful color you can see how pigmented it is excuse me focus here focus here 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 okay so this is amber blaze Number two is espresso. <gasps> That's crazy. Oh, espresso is not very as pigmented. That's all right. It's a nice color. Like I guess it's like a multi-purpose color that you can use for your brows and stuff like that as well. So the first one is Gold Coast. Um, like a like a light gold shimmer and the second one is crystalline and then this is like my least favorite but it's still a pretty color um that's espresso and this is my my most favorite and that's amber blaze amira's out of the shower now so i'm gonna be quick here is um is that in focus i hope so this is Chocolate Kiss, Ballerina Pink, and Iris. Okay, and my favorite is among between these three are is the Chocolate Kiss one because it's so pretty. The next thing I have are earphones from Studio, which one is for me and one is for Heigal. So I'm gonna open them when I'm actually with him, like when he's physically with me. And I think that'll probably be in the, be in the next few vlogs. Uh, I'm sitting like this because I can't be bothered to adjust my camera with my dirty hands. So I'm going to go and shower now. And then clean this mess with all the stuff. <laughs> and yeah. Hello guys. So today it's my... It's 12.40 already right now And I haven't spoken about LASIK So I'm gonna do that right now I asked if you have any questions about it on Twitter So I'm going to look at the questions And answer from there while I show some clips Because I'm scared that the vlog today will be a bit long So I will show some of the clips that Amira took from the day I got LASIK done. So what LASIK is, is like an eye surgery so that I won't have to wear my glasses anymore so I can see clearly again. Um, 
yeah if you can't really see all these like bloody there are no there's no blood or anything like that but like there's like there will be a scene coming up soon of like my eye kind of being peeled sort of it wasn't painful or anything but it might look painful so if you can't watch that just skip this seriously you can find out about lacing on google you don't need to listen to what i have to say <laughs> but i can tell you my experience here if you want to watch it then go ahead or if you want to listen to what i say but not what watch anything going on then just dim the screen okay so i'll answer the first question is that something we should avoid from eating after LASIK? No. No. I was told nothing about this. Um, is it possible to have problems with the vision again after LASIK? Do you have to undergo LASIK all over again? Yes. Uh, chances of your power coming back up again, it's definitely there even if you do it when you're like 20 or when you do it if you do it when you're 40 or anything like that it doesn't really matter if you don't really take care of your eyes and like your sight then um chances of your power coming back up is definitely gonna be there so that's what the doctor already told me so i was kind of worried about having to do it again but she said the she would not advise anyone to do it again i don't think that anyone should do lasik twice I think once is all that anyone can ever do because um i just don't know why oh my god i'm really bad at this but i'm just trying to tell you i'm just trying to answer <laughs> okay how much does it cost i'm not sure if it is a i know that um it varies according to age but i'm not so sure if it varies according to like the power or anything like that i'm not i don't think so mine was seven thousand ringgit how long was the process? It was parted into two days. So the first day was basically just check up to see how high was your how high is the astic, how big is your pupil, how much, how dry is, are your how dry are your eyes, um, and like what's your power, all that, and to prepare for the checkup. And I thought that that day was actually a lot worse than the surgery day itself because my eyes became really like weird and i couldn't see near and i couldn't see far i'm actually short-sighted so i can't see far anyway so i couldn't uh, wear my glasses because wearing my glasses makes the sight near weird but far okay so i couldn't look at my phone i couldn't do anything i was kind of having a headache blah, blah blah but um after that day after i took a nap it was all okay again and it wasn't painful or anything but like my pupils dilated like crazy which was really cool to look at it was really cool to look at and then you know, but the day the other day um on the day of the surgery itself um i came in the morning and the whole thing maybe took 20 minutes per eye and that was it or 15 minutes per eye and then i was immediately out the doctor checked and my eye was completely fine i didn't feel any pain um, it just felt a bit like weird because I was looking at like a like a tiny dot of like light for a long time but other than that it was fine I came back home and then I got a headache because uh, like the painkiller was wearing off uh, so I took another painkiller and that was it no more pain after that my eyes just generally dry drier than normal so there was a bit of discomfort but that's very normal <laughs> And it wasn't like painful or anything. Sometimes I feel like I can't really see properly, and I'm like, oh my god, no, 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 it's not working. But like, actually, it's completely fine. Like, it's um, normal. It will adjust. It will be like that for like a month. And I couldn't um, have any makeup on for a week, but I did two weeks instead. Like, I need eye makeup. I put on other stuff, but I just didn't do eye for two weeks, and no swimming for a month, and then just kind of like avoid looking at my phone and my laptop for too long and like too near and like watching the TV and stuff like that and when I go out I have to put UV protected sunglasses on which you can easily get I'm pretty sure if you also own the sunglasses you probably already have one which is UV protected okay next question some people said you can do it if you have worse vision if you have like really bad vision 
because if you do it later then your vision might get worse is it true maybe um i'm not so sure about that but i guess it's also it comes down to how that like, you juggle your mata also is there a certain age limit to when you can do your lazy i think it's 18 um i waited until i was 18 to do it i my eyesight became a bit weird when i was just 17 so i was kind of just like ready to get my get lasik done and everything like that so um as soon as i turned 19 all a levels and everything like that so i couldn't do it but once i was done and now that i'm having my summer break i decided to do it quickly <laughs> so i can get it out of the way i actually am so grateful that i got to do lasik because not everyone gets to do it it's not, definitely not like a like a must like i didn't need it obviously other people have powers a lot like higher than mine and other people have lower than mine obviously but i definitely did not need it but when my dad said that he didn't mind and if i wanted to do it then he would let me do it i was really 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 grateful and i still am and i can see everything really clearly and i'm trying my best to like juggle my eye as much as possible um i was on antibiotics for a week but they extended it for another few days because my eye was like just a bit too dry and then also what is this so there were two eye drops that i needed to be on for a week and then the entire uh, and then the just like a lubricating one for as long as i want really so yeah i still use this as much as i can and whenever i remember to that's my lasik story i'm so sorry it took so long i'm sorry i haven't been vlogging very much i've just didn't really feel like it i'm gonna end my vlog here i'm sorry if this vlog is kind of boring or like it has literally no substance or whatever but it's my day my day got no substance there'll be more vlogs soon and there'll be more formal structured videos as well soon um have a good day and stay positive and be kind yeah bye